Hello and welcome to yet another exciting episode of My Dot Any Cars with me, your host Diana. And boy, oh boy, do we have an exciting episode in store for you today. Now, whether you're in the market for a new trailer, need repairs, parts, or components, Zebra Trailers is the place to go. And later on in the show, we get to talk everything trailers. Stick around, we'll be back right after this break. We all drive, but what do you drive for? I drive for the sound. I drive for turns like this. We drive for the airtime. I drive for the challenging conditions. I drive for these night lights. I drive for the uphill battle. I drive for the acceleration. Hey, I drive for that too. We understand why you drive. That's why Shell Helix fully synthetic motor oils are made from natural gas, designed for ultimate engine performance. Drive on. Now here at Zebra Trailers, you can expect to find any custom trailer of your choice. And to say I am honored because I get to talk all the nitty gritties and get into detail so that you don't have to, all you have to do is just sit back, relax and enjoy. And here to give you the full details is Carl. Hi, Carl, how are you? Hi then, I'm good. Thank you so much for having me today. That's uh, my pleasure. It's also been an honor to have you guys on board. I am honored. Thank you so much. So, of course, let's talk zebra trailers. I mean, that's why we are here. You don't just do trailers, but a whole lot more. Could you please walk me through that? I will do. We've got uh, the retail part of zebra trailers, which is all the parts, the rims, the tires, the axles, all the components. Okay. Then we have um, the laser cutting, which is the new um, attachment to our business and then we have the welding and the repair side and the other side of the of the street um, yeah so we do lots of different things we do custom trailers that's one of our main things because Namibia is not that big mm -hmm. when it comes to the um, the market uh, you know the buying power mm -hmm. so I think we have to diversify definitely, definitely. you know just to keep above board of course, of course. Speaking about keeping above board, I understand you recently acquired additional premises. How have you managed to expand given the current economic climate? So basically what we've done is we've uh, decided to bring the laser cutting in, which is uh, a precision cutting, fiber laser. So it's uh, the latest technology of cutting steel and we work with steel. So we have a tube attachment, we have um, a very, we can cut our mud carts, so it it actually um, helps our business as well to to make things more professional and and so on. Yes. And you have a one-stop shop for everything. You don't need to outsource. That's the big words. <laughs> yes, you just have to. You can just do it all here, and that is, of course, of course what is needed in such a, an, an industry. Now you sell DIY kits. Please tell us what this entails. That's still a, a, a new thing, um, but it, it involves quite a lot of, um, uh, we have to draw the things and then we have to cut it and then we pre-pack it and then we can give it to guys. So it's already, it's like a, yeah, it's like a DIY kit. So when you go and you want to weld it yourself, you don't even need a measuring tape to, nice. to weld the trailer yourself. So yeah, and we give you the parts as well. So, so just to briefly cut you, do you think I would be able to install a DIY kit myself? Would it be easy or would I need maybe a professional? I mean, it is a DIY kit. I think if you, um, if you have a brother or a friend <laughs> that can weld, okay. then you just have to hold it there. In, 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 there, will be a, there will be a mark. So. Oh. So, yeah. Simple, DIY. Okay. So I understand that you're looking to expand into South Africa. Would you like to share info on this exciting move? Yes, um, I think the expansion in South Africa is basically just uh, to, to go through the homologation process. Now, 
when, when it comes to manufacturing, you have to have a status. Mm -hmm. So the government recognizes you as being a, a manufacturer. Now in Namibia, that process has not been, been, it's been there, but the regulation has not been implemented. But the Ministry of Works and Transport, um, Honorable John Mutorwa and Damien, mm -hmm. They work uh, closely together with us so that we can we can get the status mm -hmm. so that we can be recognized as manufacturers. So I've gone through the process in South Africa okay. just to help them on this side as well, just to make sure that we uh, can show them what forms need to be filled out, what needs to be in place, how do you get your shashi numbers. So yeah, that's one of the main reasons why we've, we've established in South Africa, because we want to keep it local. And, um, but also one of the things is in South Africa is we do get a lot of support from the South African branch. They uh, basically, um, they help us on laser cutting because we've joined with a company there in South Africa called Centurion Profile Cutting. Uh -huh. And uh, so we've, we've we've learned a lot on the laser cutting side. So they're also helping us on the design and the uh, uh, pre-cut of all the DIY kits and all that. Yes. So we work the more the merrier. So we the work more the merrier. <laughs> we work together and I think the most important thing for us is that um, we, want to, we want to make the market bigger and we want to start exporting to Australia because our, that's, that's our next three to five years aim. So we have somebody that was local here in Namibia mm -hmm. that that has basically gone to Australia and he's got a fitment center there. So we've decided maybe we've, he was here the other week and we've uh, had a discussion. So we are we are starting on on broaden our horizons and see whether we can we can do that you know is this the inspiration because i see so, you have a glow <laughs> yeah. we're gonna go somewhere i don't know we're gonna use a dot like a dartboard so when it lands so there it we'll lands go there, there. <laughs> please don't invite me when you do that i would love to say i had a say <laughs> All you, right. you can have a throw i can have a throw <laughs> i'm definitely looking forward to that so yeah. we are going to take a look around because i have to of course try and get my hands a little dirty you know get down and dirty see how everything goes you want to do the experience yes the full experience good would you be willing to give me a full experience of course not a problem awesome uh thank you so much carl for that interview for that Pleasure exciting day. um exciting interview but we will be back with more cars right after this break as we go and explore stay tuned Now, I did promise earlier that we're going to go on a full tour here at Zebra Trailers. And I'm a woman of my word. So as you can see, we are in a new location where we have many spare parts and gadgets and gizmos. And I wish I knew what they meant, but unfortunately, I don't. But lucky for me, I have Carl here who's going to talk me through everything. So please, yes. Dan, this is trailer parts. Yes. So it's the components that you use when you manufacture a trailer. Okay. So the components um, like brake assemblies, axles, lights, couplers, coupler heads. So it's for, uh, we have the loose parts as well. Um, all the parts all together will make your trailer up to be able to be on the road. Okay, so that it's roadworthy. Correct. I see. Okay, so do you supply to any outlets? Yes, we do. We've got Pupkevits, we've got Agra, we've got Simont. Diesel Electric and Cape Agri. Okay, awesome. Quite a few. Yes. So tell me, if I bring my trailer here, because like I said earlier, Zebra Trailers is your one-stop shop for everything. You would be able to do the repairs? Of course we would. So, so let's say we have to do a wheel bearing service. We can do that. We can fix your lights. We can basically do all you want. So what, we can repaint it for you, um, we can replace your tires, we have a tire fitment center here, so we've got it all. So whatever you need on your trailer, we can do it for you. 
don't say I never plug you guys because it doesn't get better than this. <laughs> you don't even need to go anywhere. Just come to Zebra Trailers and your trailer is sorted, right? Thank you. Awesome. <laughs> Please walk responsibly. I did not. Um? Like I said, I'm gonna get my hands dirty and I am very excited. You can call me Diana the handy person. I don't know. <laughs> Let's get to work. <laughs> Did I do that properly? I think you've done all right. <laughs> for, for a first try, for, it's not for bad. For the training, it's not bad. It's not bad. Not okay, bad I, I get an A star for this training. <laughs> of course. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Thank you. So yeah, Diana has done uh, safety first here, and uh, she's used a welding helmet. Like you all know, we have to, uh, we'll, we we have to make sure safety comes first. Definitely. Yes. This is our welding side, so this is where we do the manufacturing. Um, we have about seven, eight welders. It's continuously um, welding and welding trailers. So um, yeah, and this is all custom. So we all intervene and talk about it. How are we going to change this? How are we going to do that? So that's what it's all about. So this is where the puzzle comes together. Yes. Ah, oh, exactly. I see. Tell me, Carl, what's the most extreme um, request you've gotten for a trailer. I'm curious. We had this one uh, for Zambia that we, where we had to put a, um, uh, a boardroom on wheels. So we, wow. we had a bathroom at the back, we've got a, a toilet and cupboard to wash your hands. Um, so it basically had a television in, solar panels on. So yeah, wow, so this is, is what we do. Amazing. We do ATM trailers as well. We've done one for Standard Bank, Bank Ventuk, and we are busy with one for NetBank at the moment. That is pretty Where you awesome. Walk in and so literally, you get your cash. whatever it is, I want, I can get it as a trailer. Exactly. Wow, this is amazing. Oh, we try. Oh, you try. Yeah. I mean, you've you've done a lot. We've done a lot, yes. And that is awesome. That is actually, it's not something you would think is possible. Nineteen years of experience. So we'll do that. So. <laughs> So you heard that, whatever it is that you may need, you, they can turn it into a trailer. I mean, guys, seriously, who wouldn't want that, right? House on wheels we do as well. House on wheels. So I can literally go on a tour around Namibia in the comfort of my own home. It doesn't get better than that. Tell me something that's better. I'll wait. I know you can't. Stick around. We'll be back with more cars right after this. Please, put on your safety belt, sir. It's very important for your life. Ah, the seatbelt doesn't make me drive comfortably. Yes, that's better. Please wear your seatbelt. I did not. Again, I'm gonna be getting my hands dirty. Not really, I'm joking. But we are here because this is where the trailers are painted. So, Carl, please, um, I see so many cables and wires. <laughs> please explain to me, how do we get the paint from the paint room to the trailer? Um, so, basically, they mix the paint in the paint room. Okay. And then they, uh, they have to cover it first because it's two different phases of painting. So first you do the color, which is the white or the beige okay. or silver, it doesn't matter. And then we do the black. So that's more for stone protection and animal hoofs and all that. So basically we have to do two, two stages and um, when it gets into the spray booth, it's a nice environment for them. There's suction, 
and it's professionally done. Professionally and done. There's, a, there's a burner inside, so once it's finished painting, you press the burner, it works with diesel, and then, then it will dry the, the Oh, I see, the paint. the paint, because I can see here, the color is very, wow. This is beautiful. This is very beautiful. So now, this is where the paint comes from, I would assume. No, no, no. The gun comes in okay. here. It's got a canister. Okay. On top that you basically spray it with. Yes. One day. One day you'll see me paint a trailer. <laughs> Not today, but one day. <laughs> Next time. Next time. I know who I'm dealing with. Is this a promise? Yes. I look forward to it. Thank you. <laughs> Please adhere to the speed limit. I did not. You're still watching My Dot NA Cars and we are still here at Zebra Trailers because boy oh boy we have so much to see here. So Carl, you did tell me that you have a few new additions to the company. Could you please tell me about those? So we have the, the new pipe trailer, so it's, it's round tube. Um, I think it's, it's, it's a nice new addition, people do like it, there's, there's less welds in it. Um, because you, you, you can bend the corners, you don't have to join them. I see. So that's one of the things. And the other thing is um, it's a little bit lighter as well, the way we build it, because with the square tubing it's a little bit more heavy because you have lots of joints and stuff. But, you know, when you weld material, it tends to crack because mm. the heat process makes the steel a little bit weaker. Oh, I see. Yeah, so when so you join something, it will be so sometimes the pipe additions i know people do like that nowadays but we have both versions so we do promote both of them it's not like we only promote the the, the square tubing trailers but that's what we started with and it's been working for us over the years but we've changed to this as well you've added on to added on. <laughs> okay i learned something today about axles so please explain to me why we have two axles here instead of one so it's all about the weight, uh, depends on the weight that the people is going to be carrying. So let's say, for instance, they're going to do um, animals, you need a double axle because of the weight distribution. Okay. So the weight distribution is very important. Um, and then when you also want to load heavy stuff, so it depends. Let's say you do only, only mattresses, you can go on a single axle here because okay. you don't have that weight, but you have volume. So it depends on what you want. So if you I would say, for instance, this, the, the, this specific trailer is for a transport company. Oh. So they're going to do small packages and all that. And then, um, yeah, so depends on what the client's needs are. So we, we always interview somebody and say, listen, what do you want to, what do you want to carry? Yes. What's going to be your load? What car are you going to be pulling it with? Because we have to comply with all the regulations of the, of the road, road authority. Oh, I see. I see. So okay. This, so, for example, with this one, because of the double axle, what would you estimate is the maximum load that it can carry? So you can load about two and a half tons. Um, now, the GVM is the gross vehicle mass. So the gross vehicle mass is the trailer itself, the tear, including what what it can load. Okay. So this one will be a two and a half ton loading capacity, okay. and in total three. 1,450 in total carrying capacity. Wow. So you can load two and a half tons on here, wow. which is quite a lot. It's quite a lot because I'm seeing, you know, you wouldn't think you'd be able to carry that much. But they do say dynamites come in small packages. Of course they do. <laughs> of course they do. <laughs> All right, stick around because we are still on a tour here at Zebra Trailers. How's it, Chief? How is more? Give me a full tank. Hey, big boss, change your tires, they are worn out. Ah, you know what, I'll change it next month, it's fine.
please check your tires. I did not. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's no time for rest when you're here at Zebra Trailers. See what I did there? Because I'm holding up a sign that says restroom, come on. <laughs> and we are going to be talking about the laser cutting, which is right, what this thing that, that I'm holding right here, it was made, yes, right here in this room. And you are going to find out more. Unfortunately, not for me, because I couldn't tell you the first thing about that. But Carl here, he has someone that's going to walk us through everything, right? Me and Masson is going to be telling you on what we do here every day and uh, so what, what we can accomplish here, what we can manufacture. Awesome, awesome. Stick around for that. Yes, thanks guys. Uh, we've got um, Mien Basson here on the laser cutting side. We uh, have lots to show you. Um, Basson is going to talk us through on what he does here on a regular basis, uh, what we do for clients and what we try to achieve in this in this department of the uh, of zebra trailers so over to you Basson. thanks carl uh, like you said my name is Basson. um i'm in charge the side of the laser machine the bending machines the gelatines all those type of things what we do is we try to accomplish uh, local manufacturing like most people say let's keep it local um, we try to manufacture anything in steel work we do tube cutting we do bed cutting from 0.9 millimeters up to 16 millimeters we do cutting on any type of material except stainless steel and aluminium. Like you can see here with the tube cutting we can do up to until 180 diameter of tube cutting. We can cut names into it like you can see here, different types of shapes. We can even do bending on it to uh, cut so different I'm going to stop you there. I'm going to say so where do you do this on? On this machine or where? We do it on the tube cutting side of the laser machine. It has two attachments or two parts to the machine. It has the bed cutting this side and the head moves over the side and we do the tube cutting on this side as well. Oh, good. And uh, yeah, like I said, the, all the machinery are complementing each other. So um, we do these cladding for people, but uh, that they can cover. We do like special gates that Poisson can do. And over there, if you want to, Poisson will show you there. That's the fencing cladding section. That's also something we. Poisson, take them to the bending machine. So the, I talked about the laser machine now with the two attachments we do on those, where one of them leaves uh, the. Few people in Namibia that has a six meter tube cutting bed machine on yeah. in Namibia. So that's quite an, uh, an achievement to do. Um, just like you can show there quickly, nicely, that's the type of thinness that it can cut into tube cutting. And just the precision that it can do that you can just fold this with your hand. No need for machinery to, to fold this. Then if you move over to the CNC cutting, uh, CNC bending machine, uh, this is a full CNC, three meter bed that we can do bending on very funny looking type of bendings and all those things from up to six millimeters. Mild steel, we can bend on this machine. Just an example to show you, this yeah, is, yeah, this is like the, that, any kind of to, bolt, to bolt manufacture covers for machinery like this. Uh, with another bending machine, we have a gelatine here. Um, yeah, we have lots of machinery. We're still getting. We've got a fiber laser um, welding machine on the other side, which is very interesting. Um, we have. Uh, I think that was one of the first of its kind in Namibia. Then we also have a TIG welder. We can do aluminium and stainless steel welding, and uh, yeah. So basically, we have a designer's office where we can do 3D printing and we can do uh, laser engraving. We're gonna show you a bit of that now. I think we're gonna get Diane on board. Okay, come on. Now you may be wondering what I have here. Well, this top part here has been laser cut and this bottom part here has been laser engraved. I told you, you learned something new 
every day, and especially now that I'm here at Zebra Trailers, I feel like I've learned so, so much. So, Carol, please walk me through the laser engraving. I mean, we did see the cutting process. Let's talk about the laser engraving process. Yes. So, like you just said, so we do the cutting, then we finish it off, then we bring it to the engraver, and then basically we, we get your logo, and then we can we can print it on there for you. But it's you won't get it out easily. Oh, okay. It's been well, you won't get it out at all. Okay. So so it's been there. It's permanent mm -hmm. and um, it's good quality and it's fast. Uh, we'll do a little video now for you guys so that you can also see how how fast it is. How fast it is and how nice it is. So do you? put in the logo in a computer and then the computer works with the machine and ah. There is a, also a, a, a the computer inside there okay. that basically put all the stuff in and then it does it. So nice. it's easy. It's easy. <laughs> but all right, I'm excited to see how we, we do, can do this. We do medals for events. So we just get a, a, a band around your neck and then that's medals so we've done. So I can done. get a pink rope and just... You can. And, and then, then you say, we'll put your name and then say you've won a cycle tour or something. Ah, I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm excited. All right. So do show us. Let's see how everything comes together. I'm excited. We're trying to, to um, you know, make Namibia a bit more self-sustainable because yes. these things we used to get out of South Africa or this or that. But I think for, the, for now, we're trying to get the whole packet all together. But I think it's not easy because... We, the clientele here or the buying market is, is smaller than it is anywhere other in the world. So, Definitely. thanks. All right, cool. Let's do it. Well, my good people, we've reached the end of yet another exciting edition of My.NA Cars. Remember to catch us every week on DSTV Channel 285 and Go TV Channel 25. On that note, it's all my love, all my light, and ciao. But before I do that, actually, I see a Zebra Trailers food trailer right there, and I'm going to go grab myself a bite to eat. Until next week, ciao.